Hello, can you hear me? You can hear me. Okay. That means you have the skill that you need to become a millionaire in whatever country you live in. If you can hear me, if you can hear me, then that's all you need to make money anywhere in the world. So today I'm going to tell you how you can trade the skill of hearing me and the previous skills you have, how you can trade it to become millions of naira. I'm sure anywhere you are now, you're thinking, I have my hands, I have my eyes, I have my legs. How come I'm not making money? What are others doing to make money? Hey, it's God that has forgotten me. Oh, it's my, my foundational problem that is attacking me. Oh, my mother used to look at me this way. It's that one who that bad my hair when I was young. All these things you have accumulated and put together, there's a possibility that is possible. But the main reason why you are not making money is because money is made when values are transferred to each other. What creates value is the skills you have. The skills you have, how you transform and translate that back to money is what you are lacking. And that's what I want to tell you today. And by the way, I'm going to tell you five ways you can monetize your skill, even when you think you don't have any skill. Five of the ways you can monetize it and trade this for good money. That's what I'm telling you now. The first one is This is African Giant, where I teach personal finance, I teach investment, I teach money making, I teach agriculture, I teach importation, I teach online money, I teach offline money, investment and everything you need to know to make sure you are the giant of Africa. I always say I don't like the fact that it's only politicians that are really making their life what they want. I know you as a millennial too can do it and that's why I'm here to teach you everything that you need to make sure you become the giant of Africa. If you are yet to subscribe, please click on the subscription button and turn on your notification because every single day I dole out a video like this hoping to make sure that you get your dream land quickly. That's why I'm here. Now I promise I was going to tell you five things that can trade your skill, the skill that you have, five things you can trade it with to turn to monies with you. And listen very carefully, this is one thing I have done myself and has made me millions and millions of naira back to back even during corona that everything was still as far as i'm concerned and you too can do it there is no special dealings with this don't think there's an attack on you you can do it the very first one i'm going to talk to you about very important is what i call freelancing freelancing yeah you have me right freelancing is your ability to help others to do whatever they want to acquire their own dream if you are playing keyboard in a church, that's freelancing. You know why? You are not the owner of the church. You are not, you know what I'm saying? You are just there to play. So you can be paid to play. That's freelancing. You are writing books for somebody you are not the author, which I do a lot. You just tell me, you say, oh, I want to write a book. Oh, I'm, a, I'm a scientist. But you know, I want to write a book. I say, don't worry, I'll help you write. I give you my table of content. You read, you say, beautiful. Help me develop to how many thousand words? You pay me. That's freelancing. Somebody says, oh, I'm in Germany, I want to sing a song, but I want you to have African roots. Can you help me with the lyrics? I say, yes, I will help you. You pay me $250. I do that for you. You pay me money. I've made money. Now, the way I'm saying it, you are thinking, where will I meet somebody in Germany? Who do I know? My papa never passed on the job before. Oh, my own daddy, is, since the bonus is in Lagos, there is a way out of it. This is the internet era. There is this there are four five let me mention them there is the main one that i use which is like my own jagaban we call it fiverr.com f-i-v-e-r-r.com fiverr.com you have what we call upwork up then work upwork.com very important you have guru.com fantastic you have uh, freelance itself freelance.com that's also there. And for someone like me, I also have iWriter. I like iPhone. iWriter.com. You see, all these websites are where you have millions and millions of people come online looking for who to give the job they have to. And they get paid to you before you even start the job. Let me go for example. Somebody hits me up. I have a blog about fashion. I've written that more than a thousand times. I want to write a, an article about Clothings, for example, the type of clothing you should wear to church. You know, a lot of people want to know how do I dress to church. They don't want to dress shabbily. They don't want to overdress. 
so they want to know how to so i come up with an article like how to know the kind of clothes to wear on a sunday for a christian that's an article but meanwhile the article is only going to sponsor the person that sells a clothes so everybody who goes on google and searches what clothes can i wear on a sunday how do i pick my clothes on a sunday all those variations of anything that has to do with clothing and sundays google pops out my article to them and then they see where I explained why you should look spiritual, why you shouldn't wear the clothes you wear to your normal work, and how you should look elegant in case you are looking for your husband or you're looking for your wife. You know, how you can blend these things. And I'm explaining it. The way I'm explaining it, in between, I put up something like these kind of clothes. There is a company that can do it for you. They do home delivery, they do all of that, and I put it in between. So you that have been teaching how to do, and then you say, oh, so I don't even need to stress. Let me contact them. Then they buy. Now to me that I've written that article and paid $20. Forever the article belongs to this website and forever they sell. So at the end of the day, if the article can attract, let's say, 1,000 people, even if it is only 20 people that bought that clothes from them and they make a profit of $100, 20 times 100 becomes $2,000. They have only paid $20 to me as a writer. But am I happy? Yes, because they will not only write one article. They are going to write hundreds and thousands of articles. At the end of the day, they would have become a multimillionaire because they want to produce it and they also have extra cost. But me, that I'm a freelancer online, I just made like $20,000 from writing from, for just one company. That's a lot of money in Nigeria. Right. That's how money is made. Freelancing. Check out any of these things and register. And just start immediately. Either you know how to write, you know how to uh, proofread. By the way, if you think you don't have any skill, I will leave a link below where you can see 12 gigs you can create on fiverr and you don't need any skill at all zero skill zero 12 even if you are deaf and dumb provided right you can see 12 skills is there i will leave the link below so after you finish watching this video go there and you see the second thing that can help you transfer your skill if you can hear me to make millions is start to sell other people's products sell other people's products you have left the university, you have left the polytechnics, you have left the, and you are saying I'm looking for a job. Why on earth are you looking for a job? Every company I know, both in Nigeria and outside the country, is looking for people to sell their products for them. They don't need to employ you. If you can sell their product, they will give you money in commissions. Now, just this morning, somebody called me and said uh, she needed me to help her with prayers and help her with consultations because she now sells houses and property for people who are real estate agents they are realtors and i said okay how many property do you have i was shocked I said i have more than 50. <laughs> you have up to 50 buildings that people who own the building wants to sell your job is to go and look for people to buy i said what are your commissions he said some 2.5 million commission some 1.5 and a car i i went ballistic and people are sitting at home looking for a job why on it are you looking for a job and you are online you can track people down. You can spread this network. You can tell people about it. Just create a blog about building real estate. That's all. You are telling people how to buy buildings, how to do. Even young people. Do you know some people are watching you today? They are. They don't have one night now, but they are following you the way you build them up. The way you are advising them about how to get a rented house, how to get buildings, how to buy land for cheap. You are not saying buy anything from me. The day you will tell them you have a building you want to sell, five people will say they want to buy because they trust you. They've been with you for two years. And then they start paying you to provide me and this and then you all it's just like okay in the olden days in my hometown you can plant for a whole year two years three years the day you will rake this cocoa you'll be shocked the person becomes a multi-millionaire in a day because cocoa will just boom once you can also get to that you don't need to make money na 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 since you've been saying na 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 money how much have you made sell other people's products okay let's say you don't even have the mindset to sell product someone like me i have a product called an Ikama. And the product and the camera I sold is on beauty products. Some people are selling these beauty products. They don't have enough money to move 10 million naira products from China. They don't have enough money. But they can sell five pieces, 20 pieces to their friends. What do they have to do? Build your own page, build your own customer base, and add your own beauty products. Call it whatever name you bear. You can also call it and the camera. I won't, I won't crucify you for that. But as soon as you start selling, you order from me, I sell to you as a wholesaler, you make profit. Must you be the one to go and buy from China? Must you? 
sell other people, sold that will make you millions. I was a franchise for multi choice for more than five years. I made millions of naira. That sometimes when we have promo, I make six million one single December. Because I was selling their products, I don't need to go to South Africa to go and bring anything. All I need is just join them and then sell their products. And I didn't start from becoming a dealer, I started from joining a dealer. So I go to the dealer shop, I say, What they sell for people 10,000? You sell to me 9,000. I'll carry it and go out. I make 1,000. In between when I was working like that, I just asked one, two, three of my friends, they gave me some money, and then I joined the dealership, and then I started making 5,000 too, like them. And then from there, I also had people who are also joining to sell because I started mobilizing people. Don't wait till you have money. Till tomorrow, there are some of my boys who are very rich to the level of they can buy cows for their housemates, uh, people who want to do events. Because from selling for me, they also gathered some money and they started selling for themselves. And they also took dealership, which I showed them. This is the same dealership. I'm your boss, I can move on. I also moved on to higher things. That's the way it works. Sell other people's products. You don't know what you are leaving on the table thinking you want to get a job. So you are applying to iPhone, you are applying to Enzo, you are applying to this to give you a job. When you can sell what they are selling without applying to them. Don't apply, just go and sell. That's why I told you if you can hear me and you can talk, you are leaving millions on the table. That's the second one. The third one is that you can now start a blog on any skill you have. Google makes money. Google is actually one of the biggest brands in the world. What do they sell? What does Google sell? Google sells absolutely nothing. All Google does is, all of you come and put your thing here for free. And then they make adverts. They make billions of dollars on advert. What does YouTube do? YouTube is still Google. The same process. Google even pays you on YouTube. When you get to a threshold and then you monetize, they pay you for putting adverts on your platform. That's why you have some of us making these videos to teach you for free because we know Google will pay us as a result of those small small ads they put. Even if it is peanuts, at least you have something for your passive time. Right. What are they saying? Nothing. Now, on every blog, Google still makes up that there to make money and they pay you for that. Google AdSense. You can also sell. Linda Kedi is a vivid example in Nigeria from a blog post. Blog post. It was a free blog post. She started selling advert placements. Because she gathered a crowd. The, the blogging, the gossiping she was doing gathered a lot of people. And then she started showing them, ah, all of you that are here, you can buy this thing from this person. You know, they pay her to put those adverts. And she started making money. You also can do that using a blog based on the skill you have. Let me tell you something that was strange. Because you think you don't have any talent. That's what you think. That's why they always say that there is no person on net that doesn't have a talent. There is one weird thing you are always thinking about. There is one strange thing that happens to you that you can't explain. That's your own wealth of my wealth is now in me talking based on the vast knowledge I have. You don't need to have my knowledge, you don't need to have my belief, you don't need to have my swag. No, that your swag that you don't like, that people are busy about, that's the thing you will put on blog that will work. Oh. Let me tell you one strange thing that happened one day. I saw somebody who was blogging about rearing ants. You know ants that we kill, those ants. He was rearing ants and he was telling people to rear it. Ah, I was like, does this make sense? In the whole world, he was the one that taught me blogging and it's a strange way to think. In the whole wide world, all of the blogs online, there is no single blog that teaches how to rear ants. You know the shocking thing? There are up to 1,000 people that search how to rear ants in the world and nobody has anything on it. So this man just went, wrote about how to rear ants every day, how to rear them, how to feed them, how to you know accumulate them, how to build their houses. He started making a blog about it. 1,000 people started reading. When a thousand people read your blog, he started selling materials from Amazon. So when he says you can uh, cover this with this bamboo, you go and put Amazon link, affiliate link, that you can buy it from here. Those one thousand, can you imagine? On an Amazon affiliate, they pay you as much as seven twelve dollars on an Amazon link that you give out based on whatever amount the price of that thing is. So this man was making an average of seven dollar per person because anybody who comes to look for how to rear ant has a weird thing about ants. Some people want to just be seeing them move like this and they will build them. They don't know what to do with it. Now, fast forward after like six months, you now notice that in art and culture, people that do molds, the sand that ants bring out is like the best form of clay that you can use to mold anything. And then they burn it. Lo and behold, there was a market for it. Before people now started joining, this man became a multi-millionaire by one single blog that raised hand. I was shocked. I was like, so what was next? Immediately, people now started knowing 
He started marketing that particular sand, created a brand for it, and started selling to people. So people in secondary school started buying the, the clay to do their homework and do art and culture in schools. Ha. Before we knew, he created a brand on this particular thing. The whole world now started noticing. He was the number one. He had like three or four blogs on art. Even when others are starting to write about it, because you know there is this uh, online site that tells you which niche people are you know, focusing on. So those things exposed him, and people decided to say, hey, so the people are reading about ant. Before they joined, he asked for, he became made as a blogger on that. So when you want to blog, don't think I don't know anything. Everything I know, they have said about it. It's a lie. There's no day you join up that you don't join. Any day you start talking, people listen to you, and it's not necessarily about Nigeria. To stop thinking about Nigeria, the world is now a global village. Look at what they are doing in Brazil. You can have a thinking here. In your mind, your network is connected to Brazil, but you are in Ogun State and you don't know. Your network might be connected to people in Italy and you are in uh, Ilori or Akwaibo and you don't know. But as soon as you start blogging, blogging is not meant for Akwaibo alone, it's not meant for Nigerians. They see it all over the world. Boom! When I started writing, I started writing some books about how to cook. You can imagine if I'm cooking African dishes, who's going to eat it? I just wrote it anyway. To today, that book is the one that is selling more. Every day, sometimes I see thirty dollar, eighty dollar, forty dollar. I've sold one twenty dollar one day on this book. And in my mind, can you ever think that somebody can write how to make a wedu, how to make a mala, and somebody will buy it? And they are buying it. I don't know who is buying it overseas or or you both. They are buying. So that thing you think is strange, use it to make a blog. What does it take to make a blog? I'll leave the link below. How to start a blog from beginning to the end, how to write your articles, how to get your articles uh, pure and original. I explained all those things. It's an online, on screen uh, tutorial and it's very detailed. I'll leave the link below. So after you finish, you can check that out. So the fourth one you can do to monetize your skill is teaching others. I'm teaching you now what I know or what I've seen. What the problem is, I'm solving a problem by teaching you, which can govern you towards becoming the giant of Africa. You two can do the same. You can even teach your struggles. Maybe you have not even had a breakthrough yet. You can teach your struggles. I've taught some people, they are on lifestyle on YouTube and they are teaching their struggles. Look, you won't know that people are facing what you are facing. There's no way you can be facing this issue alone. Never. Thousands of people are facing what you are facing and they don't have a way out. Meanwhile, what you are facing now, I can't face. I have a different thing I'm facing. You have a different thing you are facing. But if you start to share what you are facing, that's when you see hundreds of people coming towards you because they are also facing the same. So as much as they are talking about it, and you're looking for solution to it, they start getting solutions to you. Then you become their leader. You can't be a leader on YouTube. YouTube must pay you at that for doing that. Before you know it, you are getting traction. You are getting public shows. They will call you to come and speak publicly. Churches are calling you. Mosques are calling you. Uh, consultations here and there. And you start making money. You have students you are teaching. And YouTube will still pay you. Start teaching others what you know. That's like a way to make millions out of your skill. And even when you don't have a skill, that will make money for you. Very important. And the fifth one I will talk about is create a product out of your problem. Create a product out of that thing you have now. Create a product out of it. It all takes you to think. Let me tell you when I created an Alikama product. Beauty product. I noticed my wife started saying there's this organic thing that they use now. She lent it. So we'll go and buy organic products and then mix the creams and then we use. Then we'll become fresher. And I'm always in this tone of you have to be fresh. I don't like that. Even if I'm poor or broke, does it mean it has to reflect on my face? No. A book cover. When you buy a book, the cover might be fine. When you read the book, the inside might not have anything content. But at least let the book cover be fine. So even if I'm not going to have any content or money, at least let my physical product be fine. And I have this mentality that the way I eat food, when I eat food, every day I eat all so that I will not lose my fitness. That's the same way I will cream. Because this body too, I just don't, if you think cream is not important, then don't bath now. Don't bath, just say this body is not important. But your body is important, that's how you wash it. You eat to sustain the body from inside, you wash your body outside to sustain it, then cream it, let it shine. So I had that mentality. I, it took me a while before my wife could explain this to me, so I got it. And then I started investing into, not investing really, like I started spending money into really body care and all of that. I, I take care of my hair, take care of my beard, you know, just to take care of myself. At least I'm still alive, I'm not dead. When I'm dead, let the ants eat it. But now that I'm alive, I enjoy every process and spend some money on it. Then I told her, I said, look, the money we're using to buy this thing, it's plenty. Uh, and now she lent. After she lent, the money reduced by half. But our own mixtures and everything at the first beginning wasn't doing well. Because we were practicing it, practicing it. We'll do for children, we'll do for my color sheet, 
her own, she's fairer than me, so she'll do, she'll do, she'll do, you know, like that. And then we start using it, she started developing and started using us as practice till she now got everything. Now, when I knew that, oh, Madame, don't savvy, everybody's now, anytime they see us, anywhere we go to, everybody's screaming, ah, ah, you guys are growing, like, did you just come from America? I said, hey, hey. it's like, you now know this thing very well. So let's push it out. Now, before we pushed out, I didn't just push out. Like I told you in one of our videos, now you can look around the video, uh, how you can start small. So I started this small and I tried it out. And then that's how I created this. It was from my problem. I didn't want to spend money on the cream and I needed to be shiny. That was how I created the Kama Beauty Products. That's it. And now I now import. So sometimes she makes her own. I see import orders that she can make and we are making business. It's as simple as that. And then we sell online. I don't have a shop. I don't have one single shop. It's just online. Everybody orders, we move to them, and that's it. Beautiful, right? It's interesting. That's how you can also make a product out of your issues. I saw online today something like a wristwatch that can dispense, uh, what's this thing called? Sanitizer into your hand. You wear it as an handband. Now, maybe you shake somebody or you hug somebody, you just press it. You know, you do it like this, you put your hand like this. And then you press <laughs> inside that thing is sanitizer. You press it up to your hand, you rub, you go. Instead of carrying the loop and all these things, you know, people are improvising, new contents are coming out. Your problem can be monetized and a product can come out of it. If you can't make a physical product, make a digital product, right? And those are things you can do to trade your skill and your non skill to millions of naira. If you are yet to subscribe, Click on the subscription button and turn on the notification because every day I make a video like this, all in the process of making sure that you become the giant of Africa. Like I always say, I don't want the politicians alone to be the giant, but we can also be the giant as millennials. Give me thumbs up on this video. The algorithm likes it and I also enjoy it. And if you have any comments, either you disagree with me or you agree with me, put it in the comment section. I'll be there to attend to you personally. And then I'll see you around. Check other videos. I'll see you around.